Hello everyone. So today I am going to explain that how we can create REST API using Spring Boot. So for creating a RESTful APIs in nowadays basically using the Spring Boot is very common task, right? And I am here to guide you through this, like how you guys can easily create any REST APIs using the Spring Boot. So first of all, we need to create one project. And before that also the prerequisite like uh, we need you need to install this JDK into your system so that uh, you can because without JDK it's not able to like work right so first of all then after if you are having this installation of Java 17 so then it's fine then you can navigate in any web browser then over there for creating the Spring Boot application you need to go through it like start.spring.io so this is is called the Spring initializer so over here you can like choose that what kind of project basically you need to create like maven or gradle okay so from here that you can see that i have choose this maven project over here then i need to choose the language that what language we need to use so as i am going to use the java using java i am going to explain like how you can create this rest apis and maven so that's why i choose the language is java then i have choose the dependency and spring boot 3.2.5 so spring boot 3 actually basically the minimum java supported by this version so this is the java 17 so that also you need to choose over here that so this is the minimum version that you need to choose over here so then group artifact name description and package name these things we need to choose over here in the right side in dependency sections from here we can choose the dependencies that what kind of dependencies basically we need for support or for creating this kind of spring boot project or what dependencies basically we need to use into our project while we are creating the project so for me i am going to as i am going to create only simple applications so then that's why actually i am going to use this spring web dependencies for creating the restful application using spring mbc and it's actually uses, uh, uses the embedded Apache Tomcat server. So that's why we don't need to externally deploy this application into any server. Actually, Spring Web already having this embedded Tomcat. So that's why it, whenever we are going to start this application, it will automatically start, right? So this is actually embedded into the Spring Web application. This data JPA, I'm not used right now. Lombok also I don't need to use right now, okay? So only Spring Web is sufficient and DevTools is just for provide the first application restart uh, capabilities reload kind of things if we did any kind of modification into our classes then it will automatically reload the things automatically okay so that's why this spring boot dev tools is required after clicking on the generate it's basically create as the project so something like uh, let me show you uh, how it generate so as you can see over here this rest API basically i have created and then after creating this project i have included into my editor okay you can choose any editor like your favorite text editor or maybe any id such as like intellij or maybe vs code or maybe eclipse okay so i will use this uh, eclipse uh, so for uh, like uh, uh, using uh, code for java kind of thing okay so then it's ready after importing how we are going to import this one so from here we can import this project like import and then we need to choose this existing maven project and over here we need to choose an import so it will automatically import and give us the ready-made the project structure and all the things then uh, here basically we need to create one class so that uh, for creating the rest apis basically what you can do we need to create the controller right so here we are going to create the rest controller first so for that we need to create one class over here so here we can create one controller first let me create one controller let's say it's a payroll controller okay and maybe we can create this uh, class in a controller package so for that we can define the package over here okay so now once the class is got created here so make it as a we have as a rest apis so for that we need to annotate this class as a rest controller if we don't want means annotate using this rest controller then it will not it will behave as a plain class right in java 
so that's why we need to annotate this class one as a rest controller then we can give this as a request mapping for provide the path for this app means uh, for this api okay so this will be the base path for this one now for accessing the data from the database or uh, anywhere like we need to define some apis over here so api can be like can be get can be post can update right and uh, so this can and also delete so i will demonstrate like how we are going to create any get api over here like public then let's say string then get uh, de employee details okay so here so let me so return as success okay and for make it as a gate mapping gate api actually we are having this gate mapping okay and here also you can define the path right slash get get emp details okay using this we can create the gate api in similar kind of we can create like uh, post mapping maybe okay post mapping and here post we can say post employee details here also and save for example save employee details and i am not passing anything over here so it will take some like request body we need to like uh, here you can uh, pass some request body and then we need to pass some details but i am not going into the detail over here but if using this we can create this post mapping so now like using this gate mapping post mapping and similar fashion we can also create like uh, uh, delete and the like uh, update for the update basically it's a put okay so now if we st for starting this application basically we can run this application as spring java applications okay so it will basically start the application it will not take much time it will start it soon once it will start then we can check that uh, how we are going to check this uh, spring boot application okay so like uh, you guys can try to like complete this uh, okay it's uh, saying that data source so why it is asking for the data source uh, it should not let me check maybe we are having some dependency related to this uh, data jp or something yes we don't need this data jpa basically as we are not going to use this uh, uh, jpa kind of thing so we don't need this one okay so now after this let me start this again rest api application okay now it should start because we have removed this spring data dependencies from the class path so it will not asking for us this uh, details okay now you can see it uh, application got started over here and tomcat initialized in the 880 port okay so now we are going to access this uh, gate api this gate emp details right so let me open this postman and over here we need to give this path localhost the port is this then api then this one okay so if we call this one then we can get this success message because this success message we have uh, printed in the controller layer we are also getting the 200 right so here you can see we are getting the success okay now you guys can try to like complete this post mapping delete mapping and the update one okay then if while doing this kind of thing so let me know if you guys are facing any issues then i will try to help you out okay so that you guys can understand uh, like how you're going to create the current means apis okay so and uh, this is actually just kind of basic like how we are going to create the rest apis using this spring boot quickly uh, okay in first one uh, so faster way so you guys can try the remaining portion and try with me like uh, how you are guys uh, created so that you guys you guys can understand like how it is working right it's a very easy okay so if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video see you in my next video bye bye